Hey folks, welcome back to our Dice Tower Preview. I'm Mark, and today we're taking a look at the Council of Verona. Council of Verona is brought to you by Bread and Circuses. It's for two to five players, ages eight and up, and games range anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes. In the Council of Verona, the two great houses, the Montagues and the Capulets, have been causing unrest within the region. They just don't get along and now the princess has set up a council to mediate the situation. You, as influential citizens, shall take part in this council trying to bring peace to the region. Now, this is the third edition of Council of Verona. And I have to say the thing I like the best is simply the fact that they've updated the game and gave it a facelift. The artwork is so much better than that kind of grayed or black and whitish artwork. Brown, I guess it was what it was. But this new artwork really is something nice. And they've also added these player screens. So your tokens, which you used to have face down, you can now have behind the screens face up and you don't have to keep peeking at them as you play the game and try to figure out what numbers and things to play on the cards. And also, I think, I feel like these tokens are upgraded as well. Um, but the thing is, is that they've also incorporated the poison expansion. That is now a standard part of the game, which I always thought it probably should be. So we're not gonna dive deep into gameplay because there's a lot of videos out there already that show how this game plays turn to turn. But just know that the same gameplay is here. And in setup, you're going to divvy out cards to everybody and tokens. And based on the player count, will dictate which tokens and how many cards each player gets. So gameplay is very straightforward and quick. Now, one of the things I really like also about these new player screens is the fact that every round of the game is outlined here in front of you, showing you each phase as you move through the steps. Now, also, each card, if you don't know this game, has an ability and each card has an agenda. And you're gonna be jockeying for position, trying to get the cards out into the rows, either the exile row or the council row in order to gain you points at the end of the game. And the way you gain points is by placing your tokens on specific cards, hoping those agendas get fulfilled and you don't run into poison, which then would kill that character off. So you have the two rows, you have the exile row and the council row. Now, at the end of the game, you're hoping to complete those agendas, like I said, and in for instance, Romeo and Juliet want to be together in one of those two rows. And if they are, then you'll score the points. Have Rosalind wants them to be separated. So her agenda would be met if they were in two different rows. And it's really that simple. So you'll go round after round playing cards until those are complete and you've placed your tokens. Now you don't always have to place tokens. You don't always have to do the abilities, but you do are try you are trying to get the maximum amount of points here. So you also have to look out for that poison because you may have a good plan in place and the card you need the most has been poisoned at the end. And of course, the player with the most points is going to win the game. All right, folks, just a reminder once again, this has been a Dice Tower paid preview and everything you've seen here has been in prototype form. So keep a close eye on the campaign for any changes that still may occur. Now with that said, you know, I've played every incarnation, every version of this game. And this is by far my favorite. The artwork is so much better. It's really engaging and it looks great on the table. And the same great gameplay is here. But ultimately folks, if this looks like a game that would be of interest to you, I'm sure they'd appreciate your support. So I think that's it for me. And until next time, we'll see you at the table. Thanks so much for watching another Dice Tower video. If you enjoy our videos, subscribe to the channel for more fun, comprehensive board game coverage. Also, consider joining us at one of our events. Come to Dice Tower Retreat, a small, intimate gathering where gaming is king. Join us for Dice Tower Cruise, the largest board game cruise. Attend Dice Tower West in Las Vegas for gaming fun on the West Coast, or Dice Tower East in Orlando in sunny Florida. Dice Tower Conventions, the friendliest gaming conventions on Earth. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower.